that time again. Y'all ready for couch conversations tonight? Turn this light down a little bit. Is y'all ready? Where y'all at? Let's get it popping. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all ready for this conversation tonight? I know I am. One more time, we back. Once again. All right. So I see y'all starting to tune in real fast tonight. Ain't no waiting tonight, huh? Y'all ready for this conversation? All right. So we're going to get it started. Let's count it down. Here we go. Let's go! House conversation with Danny Girl Live, DMG Radio on fire. You listen and ride where you hear the hottest on the ground of independent music. Tune in with Couch Conversations where they talk about it. No, it ain't the Breakfast Club. It's Danny Girl going live. Danny Girl going live. Danny Girl going live. No, it ain't the Breakfast Club. It's Danny Girl going live. Danny Girl going live. Danny Girl going live. Killer. DMG Radio. Danny Girl live. Couch conversation. You know what it is. Monsters. Hey, 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 and welcome to another episode of Couch Conversations. I am your host, Danny Girl, and I hope y'all ready for tonight's conversation. Tag three friends, invite four people, make sure everybody is here because we about to get it in tonight with this conversation. So tonight we're going to be talking about church people and sex, specifically what type of music do church people have sex to? Um, This was a conversation that we had before and I was asked to bring it back. So we are here. I would like to get your feedback. Make sure you invite some friends, a couple of family members, invite the bishops, the pastors. We're going to talk about church people and sex tonight because um, apparently this is a hot topic with my viewers. Uh, Y'all didn't let this one go. So we on part three. This is part three for y'all that don't know. You can go back to season one and catch the first two parts. This is part three of this episode. So um, I'm anxious to talk to y'all about it. Um, Also... Let me see if I could give y'all the link. If you would like to chime in, let's go ahead and put the link up for you. And um, if you click on the link, it's going to bring you in on video. So make sure that uh, you ready for video. There y'all go right there. All right, so y'all come on with it tonight. I'm ready for y'all tonight. Let me bring my comments up so I can see y'all comments. Y'all just bear with me. Um, Here we go. Let's get to the comments. Bam. 
Okay, here we go. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hi. Oh, my family on. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay, got y'all comments. As you can see, there's the link. If you want to chime in, come in live on the video. But let's talk about church people and sex. So um, the reason I wanted to talk about this topic is because after the first two um, episodes, we did not let this go. It's still been something that's funny. Um, we still trying to see uh what church people out here doing sexually um we're specifically talking about sex and music what type of music do church people have sex to um the topic caught my eye yes tasha stay tuned this is going to be very interesting um so before we had a conversation about it and a lot of people were saying that they as church people um active church people and when i say church people i mean people that are active in church that go every sunday they're ministers they're evangelists they are people that are out actively participating in church um what type of music they're having sex to a lot of people said that they were having sex to church music and i really thought that was interesting um me personally I just don't see myself uh, having sex to church music. Um, even when I was super active in church, I just don't see it happening. Um, I had a few church people tell me that they did not approve of having sex to church music, that it was not okay. But um, yeah, some of y'all out here doing it. So the funny thing is we were trying to hear what type of songs y'all are out here having church um, excuse me, what type of church songs y'all are out here having sex to? And the funny thing is nobody could give me a song. So once again, I'm going to put the cash app up in a little while. If you would like to um, contribute in any way to the show, you can always cash at me. But once again, we are going to be cash apping some money out. If you can tell me a song, and I mean genuinely tell me a church song that y'all are out here having sex to, okay? I need to genuinely know. So I'm going to take a quick commercial break because I need to take me to Motrin real quick for my back. And I'll be back in 30 seconds, all right? Love y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, we trying to find out what songs y'all church people out here having sex to. First of all, um, let me just say, because we talking about church people with sex, period. Let me just say that um, I want y'all to know that church people is out here having all the sex that we have. And just to let y'all know, um, we found that out on the first two uh, parts of this show. They are out here having all the sex that we have. And don't let them fool you because the pastor is single. He probably sleeping with a couple of family members. Uh, I mean, excuse me, church members, a couple of your family members. Um, they out here doing all the same stuff that we doing. Um, a lot of them are not having sex to church music. Okay. I just want y'all to know that a lot of them are listening to R and B. Um, or what they call secular music. There has been a rise in love music, what they call love music, from people like Tamala Mann, David Mann, Dietrich Haddon. Certain gospel artists have started making love music. I believe the Campbells did um, a CD. And what love music is, is it's not gospel and it's not R&B. They're basically singing to their spouses and their significant others about their love. And I know a lot of people are making love to that because it's kind of like on the R&B front. They're not singing to God. They're not singing about God. So it's on the R&B front. So a lot of people are listening to what love music is. Um, I see a, y'all, a lot of y'all viewing. I want to know. Y'all chime in with me and let me know what y'all think church people out here having sex to because... Uh, it sounds like they having sex to um, Casey and JoJo and the Isley Brothers. 
I do notice that the Isley Brothers was a big one with church people. Um, the Isley Brothers was one. Um, Marvin Gaye. It was a lot of old school uh, artists. A lot of old school R&B artists. Are, um, Marvin Gaye was a big one. Him and the Isley Brothers. Um, I would like to know what else y'all out here making love to, though. Without what y'all having sex to. Um, these comments is dry. What y'all out there doing tonight? Where Erica? Somebody tag Erica back with, because I know she got something to say on the subject. Uh, make sure we get her in this conversation. There we go. Um, and like I said before, if you would like to tag in, we have the link in the comments. You can tag in and come in live on the show. Um, I see a lot of my family watching. Y'all quiet. That's funny. Y'all usually be the main ones talking, especially Miss Rutherford over here. But uh, yeah. So this church church people in this in this sex. This is um quite funny. Um, since we talking about sex, let's talk about church people and sexuality. Let's just go all the way in, all the way. So um. Why are we talking about sex? Let's just throw out there um, sexuality because a lot of church people need to tap in with their sexuality. They out here um, acting like they're not having sex with certain people and they are, but we're going to leave that alone or we're going to talk about that too. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of y'all are out here fronting like y'all ain't doing nothing, like y'all living a holy celibate life and y'all not doing that either. Um, if you are a, a church goer, cause I'm a church goer, I go occasionally. If you are a church goer, you know that usually it's one of the musicians at the church or two or three. The, the average church has probably four musicians, three or four musicians. And out of them, three or four, it's probably two of them sleeping with somebody more than likely in the choir. Um, y'all know how they do up in the church. The, I'm not trying to be funny, but we used to have this saying, like, if you want to go and find somebody, don't go to church because church is like going to the club. All the hoes are there, too. Um, the only difference is, in my opinion, everything on this show is M.I.O., okay, in my opinion. Um, um, excuse me, I.M.O., in my opinion, um... They try to act like they're not doing it. That's the difference between church people and everybody else. Church people do stuff and try to act like they're not doing it. So usually when the pastor is single, he tries to act like he's single and he's not sleeping with anybody. And I'm not saying it ain't pastors out here that's single, that's really not living that life. But for the most part, let's just keep it 100. A lot of these pastors is out here sleeping with their church members, their choir members, um, you know, trying to act like they not doing nothing when that's not the case. I know the musicians in the church are the biggest hoes. Let's just throw that out there. I know several church musicians and I know what they be doing. And yeah, they are the biggest ones. They usually got a couple people they sleeping with. And I know for a fact they ain't sleeping to nobody with no church music. Okay. Now, I do know on a couple of occasions that I've seen church people that will smoke and drink to church music, but they don't have sex to church music. So I think that's funny. Um, but at the same time, I just would like to know who's out there climaxing like to the word of the Lord, because I know that's not something I want. I don't want to be having sex and Y'all talking about the Lord in the background. Like, I can't be having sex to the Canton spirituals or, you know, like, um, so like, yeah, I noticed some of my people from Triumph is on here, right? Like, I wouldn't want to be having sex in here like Bishop Redding or Reverend Pay singing or the Triumph singing in the background. Like, that would just throw me all the way to the left. Like, yeah, I... I just couldn't even imagine. I really couldn't. But um, 
I would like to know because I see some of y'all church people, some of y'all church goers. Is y'all out here having sex to church music? I want to know. I want to know if y'all out here having sex to church music. I want to know what type of church music you are having sex to. I want to know that too. So can we talk about it? Because a lot of y'all watching, y'all ain't commenting. Y'all the dry audience tonight. What's going on? What y'all having sex to out there? Now, if y'all don't want to talk about this, we can talk about church people and sexuality because i that's a whole nother subject. But y'all know I can go on that too. And we can talk about how, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of y'all go to church and don't fuck with gay people, but your choir director gay and probably sleeping with one of the tenors. Or, you know, in that case, he could be a soprano. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, y'all want to talk about it or what y'all want to talk about tonight? Because this church people with sex, I could go a whole lot of routes with this uh, subject. So um, y'all tap in with me. Y'all tap in with me. Y'all just dry. Y'all really dry tonight? I'm going to pray for y'all. Um, so yeah, back to the conversation. Okay, now I see some of my I did before on accident. Oh, now my comments is popping up. Oh, okay. You had hold on. Um, you had sex to church music on accident. Is that what you did on accident, girl? And how did that happen? Did it pop up in your playlist or or what happened? Now let's talk about it because now I want to know too. I want to know. Somebody said that's too much. Is this on public settings? Yes, it is. You can share this. If you would like to share, you can invite somebody. They can get it. They don't have to be my friend to watch the show. I'm not having sex to no church music, says the church drummer. Okay. If it happens, oh my God, I'm going to need y'all to get y'all playlist together. All this accidental and if it happens and what kind of songs y'all got in y'all playlist that's popping up that um, <laughs> probably listening to KJLH. Let me tell y'all something. That radio station right there will send you to hell sometime because you could be listening to KJLH and be all in your groove on some R&B. And they'll take you to church in the middle of an R&B groove. And then you be right back listening to uh, like Roddy Rich or something. You know, um, they got to make up their mind because that's like listening to your random playlist. Wait a minute. Hold on. So for those of y'all. I'm kind of like lost for words right now because I'm listening or I'm reading these comments. And she said it popped up on her playlist. But I do recall this is the same person in season one that told us that they had sex in the choir room with the choir robes. Okay. So let me tell y'all something. For those of y'all, if this is your first time watching Couch Conversations, we, this is season two, okay? So we discussed a lot of things in season one, including church people and having sex and having sex in random public places. And yeah, one of my viewers has sex at the church in the choir room. So now she's talking about she has sex to church music because it was in her playlist. I'm going to need you to get you a sexual playlist so that you ain't having sex to church music because apparently you got a lot going on, sister. Um, Jeez, it's me and you going to have to have a one-on-one -on -one interview because I got questions for you because you, apparently you do a lot of stuff that I don't be ready for. Um. Oh, my goodness. Okay. My playlist has nothing to do with church music as far as sex is concerned. I hope not. You know what? Let me tell y'all. When my when my um, music goes in my phone, it automatically goes into a playlist, right? So it's either going to be hip-hop and R&B or it's going to be gospel for that specific reason. Because I don't want like to be grooving out to one thing. And then my gospel pop on, or I don't want to be all in my gospel zone and giving God praise. And then Nipsey Hussle come on talking about blue laces. Like, um, my playlist is very, very, very segregated. Um, excuse me, desegregated. 
I need y'all to um get y'all playlist together because apparently y'all having sex to some weird stuff. Beating it down to Shirley C. Oh my god, young Drac, you crazy. Um, so yeah, that's what I wouldn't want that either. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be wanting to get hit and then shouting, John, come on, like that is not okay. Y'all out here, y'all need to get these playlists together. Um, so yeah, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about church people and sex. And um, we're talking about music that church people have sex to. And I just, you know, we're talking about a few things because I wandered off into church sexuality as far as places where people are having sex. Um, so just holding your mule. Oh, my God. OK, see, this is why I had to tag Erica because she got jokes in the comments. So I want to know, are y'all as crazy as I think y'all are. And how many of y'all have actually had sex at the church? Because that's a whole nother topic, but it ain't because we talking about church people and sex. How many of y'all have actually had sex at the church? My cousin don't have to comment because we know she had sex in the choir room. Um, yeah. Uh, I would like to know who that was that had sex in the pastor's office. I know a couple of y'all done told me about some places y'all got hit at at the church. A couple people said in the bathroom. Um, somebody else said in the pastor's office. Okay, so let me ask y'all this. For those of y'all that had commented on previous shows, because I got pretty much the same viewers and a couple of new ones. For those of y'all that commented on previous shows that y'all had sex at church, was the church music playing? Was you getting it in during devotion or while the choir was singing? Or was the pastor preaching? Like, now I got questions. I need to know because apparently my viewers are some church freaks and um, they out here. Greg. What? Greg. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all hilarious. I love this. Okay. So at rehearsal, it's a Sunday school bungalow. I told y'all I got church freaks watching my show. Oh my God. Okay. So, I want to know, was the music playing? Was y'all, like, at rehearsal getting it in while the choir was going? Or my cousin had sex at a prophetic... Well, did the prophet know that they was going to be there having sex? Did the prophet know? Because y'all, I cannot. I cannot. Now, at my previous church... The tenor section was cracking. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So at my previous church, which will not be named on this show, we've had incidences of people having, um, you know, not necessarily sex in church, even though two people were accused one who was watching was having accused of having sex in church upstairs when we was a teenager but there has been sexual activity that took place in the church not with me i ain't going to hell not like that i'm gonna have to go to hell for some other stuff this was after church after rehearsal some head is that what you was getting some head oh my god okay I love my audience. Y'all are the guts. Okay, so y'all be getting head and stuff at the church. Y'all bold. I'm just not that bold. Now, the boldest thing I did was smoke weed in the church parking lot. And, you know, that was being bold. But y'all just getting it in at the church house, in the choir rooms, after choir rehearsal, while the pastor preaching, while the stuff is going on. Like, y'all don't even care. Y'all just, woo, is it that serious? Okay, were y'all sheltered as children? Because that's like um, sheltered children stuff. Like I know we didn't go nowhere but church and home and most of our boyfriends and stuff was in church or the girlfriends was in church. So you know what I'm saying? Like you got sheltered and you only seen your church people. Like, is that what happened? Or was you bringing people from the outside to the church house and then something happened and y'all got it popping at the church? Like, this is crazy. 
I've been a church musician all my life. I got the tea. Well, come on, drag and spill the tea. These people are some church hoes. We know that already. We did a whole episode called Church Hoes, and you was the first person viewing, Montika. The choir director had the keys to the church, so we would go to church after hours. Oh, my God. So y'all was going there like it was a motel. I'm at a loss for words. Um, Wow. Okay. She wanted it and I wanted it and didn't want to wait. Okay. So let me tell y'all something. Okay. I have had boyfriends at the church. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, whatever. And, you know, we've left church and went somewhere else, but it was never, never that serious that I did not want to wait. I've never had sex at church. Y'all just some freaks. Y'all is some freaks. Y'all just want to get it anywhere. Y'all couldn't drive like down the street from the church and do it in the car. The, okay. These comments is going up because the more I'm talking, the more y'all is hitting me with the shenanigans. The church balcony. Was church going on? Inquiring minds want to know. I'm still on this with the choir director had the keys to the church and y'all was going to get it in the sanctuary. That is crazy. Oh my God. The, the, the sanctuary is not the Momo. Oh my God. Okay. You banged the pastor's wife. Was that at the church too? You did it in the balcony at rehearsal. This is so interesting. Oh my God. And where did you do the pastor's wife at? Was that at the church too? Oh my God. Okay. So church people and sex. This is so interesting because this just took a whole turn. Like I was not prepared when I put this together. Whoa. Okay. In the balcony at rehearsal. That's deep. One of us nutted on the seat. And somebody said it on Sunday morning. Oh, 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 that's disgusting. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Getting ready for a concert. So the concert going on and y'all in the balcony banging. So that means you was doing it to some church music again? Oh, my God. And now, I, now I need to know, was you doing it to church music at rehearsal? Um, You banged the pastor's wife at the church. Was church going on? Was it to some church music? Because apparently, ooh, y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Ooh, y'all nasty. <laughs> y'all just getting it in in the church house. <laughs> y'all nasty oh my god oh jesus okay oh. y'all some hoes and you know what's funny during offering oh if we didn't make it it's a rehearsal we were doing it in the back of the van oh my god nope during offering so you bang the pastor's wife in the church during offering lord have mercy i ain't gonna even ask who the pastor is larry i'm gonna leave that alone i'm gonna leave that alone them young first ladies be ready okay i wouldn't doubt that not at all not at all not at all Okay, so just a lot of these young people just be hot to try anyway, and being the pastor's wife don't even mean nothing. At rehearsal, getting ready for a concert, and the band was playing. So you did it to church music more than just in your playlist, honey. It wasn't just a playlist. Like, um, you did it in the church while the choir was rehearsing and the band was playing. Okay, okay. 
Okay, back to Greg. Was it in the church van? That was one of the questions our commenters asked. Was it in the church van? We inquiring minds want to know. Okay. Um, y'all some freaks. Y'all, y'all some straight up freaks. We supposed to be talking about the church music, but apparently y'all doing it in the church while church is going on. So yeah, y'all having sex to church music anyway. The pastor was AARP age. He was married to a youngster. Is that what it was? She was younger than him. We were on our way to rehearsal and wanted to touch on each on each other before rehearsal. Oh, the church bus. Y'all having sex on the church bus. Okay, I didn't hurt it all. So y'all having sex in the balcony, the pastor's office, the choir robe office, the church van. Y'all just everywhere, all up and through the church having sex. That's nasty. At least y'all ain't tried the bathroom. I'm so proud of y'all for staying out of public, like really super, super public places. Oh my God. She was 20 years younger. So the pastor up teaching about fornication while the wife is out fornicating. Is that what's going on? Because y'all just doing way, way, way too much. Y'all doing way too much. Okay. So let me explain something to y'all. My mama said, ain't nobody scared of Jesus or God. And ain't nobody scared that Jesus was cut. What Jesus was cut. You know, D.L. Hughley always said, you're going to be having sex somewhere with somebody you ain't supposed to. And Jesus going to come back like a thief in the night. They said it was blessed. I bet it was blessed. Um, Oh, my God. So if you're just tuning in, because I see I still got viewers coming on. If you're just tuning in. We're talking about church people and sex. And apparently I got the freakiest freaking viewer, viewers because they're having sex everywhere at the church, in the church, while the church music is going at rehearsals in the balcony, in the pastor's office, in the choir rooms, in the church van, in the sanctuary after rehearsal. They just getting it in. In the church parking lot before night service was the last comment. During church, yes, during church, he said, and Jesus forgave us afterwards. I, if he, if you, did you go repent? Did you have sex and go to the altar? Did you ask the Lord to forgive you? I hope you did, because that, oh my God. No, no, not, I am scared of that. Okay, somebody scared of Jesus aside from me, because Lord have mercy. Y'all just getting it in at the church house. Okay. So we had somebody getting it in during the offering and we had somebody getting it in during choir rehearsal. So y'all already um, apparently got it in the church music. Now, my question to y'all was, do you remember what song was playing while you was getting it in up in the church house during offering and um, during choir rehearsal? My cousin said, did you get the oil and repent? I hope so. And bless the one you was um, laying with too. I asked and still ask you. Y'all nasty. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Ooh. 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 Yes, Jesus needs to be on the main line with y'all because y'all are crazy. Erica say, oh, child, I'm tired of this church. Baby, let me tell you. I'm over here so weak on the inside because y'all are the goods. Whew. I'm not sure what she was asking about the oil for. Oh, she said they need to get the oil and repent after they didn't have sex up in the church. Jesus, I'll never forget. Okay. So I asked what song y'all was having sex to. And this fool said, Jesus, I'll never forget. Yeah, I bet you won't. We was learning. I told the store. Oh, my God. Y'all was having. I don't even know what to say. Like, I, 
I'm so at a loss for words. After the climax, they started singing, never would have made it. Oh, I thought she was talking about using it. Oh, my God. No, not using the church. Oh, my God. We're not talking about using the blessed church oil during the sexual um, endeavors. We we going to leave the oil where it is. Just got done learning. Make me over. Y'all nasty. That's all I'm going to say. So, um, just to break, I shall never forget. For real. You the nasty one. You the nasty one. You the one that's having sex in the choir robe room and the pastor's office and the balcony and to the church music in your playlist. Now you talking about you shall never forget. Oh my God. The second song was Jesus is my help. Y'all made it to a second song? So this wasn't even a quickie. Church songs is like five, six minutes long. I told the storm that's a that's about five minutes. So uh, the comment says. For whoever commented, I shall never forget how many modulations. If they have used the church, what makes you think they weren't going to use the oil? Oh, my God. Uh, it was a threesome. Two guys in odd. Y'all having threesomes in the church? Was one of them a choir director? I ain't trying to be funny. I really want to know. Not Jesus is my help. Damn, they was trying to get caught. The whole song. Uh, whoever asked about the modulations, she commented the whole song. I'm still on. They had a threesome in the church. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. <sighs> that took a turn I wasn't ready for. Oh my God. Okay. We got 20 minutes left in the show. Y'all stay tuned real quick. It's time for a commercial break. Oh my god. He's one of the you know. Hey, this is Steve Wilkos, and if you guys are looking for a great store for adult entertainment, then check out Sex R Us. Samantha Robinson has everything from lingerie to those adult gadgets you can't find anywhere else. So, hit her up. Okay, for those of y'all still, still tuned in, oh my God, I'm going to get back to the comments in a minute, but... um. If you would like for me to play your commercial, please reach out to me. If you have a commercial, as Samantha Robinson did, 
or if you just have a video snippet like Black Mr. Jazz, if you would like me to promote your YouTube like DRev, please make sure that you reach out to me and contact me. I will make sure that I've put all the information up at the end of the show. Feel free to email me at dmegradio at gmail.com. And um, I will make sure that we get it on the show. Okay. Now, back to these comments. These people are wild. I'm flabbergasted. I cannot. You know I'm not playing. Yeah, I know you're not playing. That's why I am over here rolling, y'all. For those of y'all that want to know who that is, that is my old neighbor and the person that used to braid my hair. I love him dearly, and he is dead serious, and I'm over here dying, okay? So if you just tuned in, we are talking about church people and sex. Let me, oh, look, I didn't left the commercial break banner up. We talking about church people and sex, and uh, what song church people is having sex to, and apparently they having it. Yeah, I wanted answers. I wanted answers. Apparently, they having sex in all these weird places at the church to the choir songs and to, oh, my God, at the choir rehearsals and all this stuff that y'all got going on. Y'all like, oh, my God. I'm going to tell y'all. I just want y'all to know from season one, episode one until now, I have had my handful of faithful viewers and i love y'all and i thank y'all for tuning in y'all make this so much fun for me because i know no matter what y'all gonna be here with me with my shenanigans every week so i want to say thank you to all my viewers and this is part three of church people and sex for those of y'all that missed it you can go to youtube and catch part one and two and oh my god this just gets interesting every time i do it I was asked to bring it back again, and y'all coming through with the answers. So, where is y'all having sex at, and what is y'all listening to? Because apparently y'all having sex everywhere and listening to everything. Um, i just been flabbergasted tonight about the threesome in the church, in the sanctuary. That just tickled me pink. During choir rehearsal in the balcony. Oh, my God. With the pastor's wife during offering. Oh, if you still here, can we find out where that location was? In the church van. We got sex and touching on each other and stuff. Um, Where was the other? Lo in the choir robe room. Amongst the choir robes. The pastor's office was one of the locations. Y'all is getting it in everywhere. You know what I'm surprised? I'm surprised nobody said the bathroom. I'm surprised. Now, Bullet Loco, because I know you watching. Thank you for just putting band number one and not the name of the church. I appreciate that because they used to do some wild stuff up there. Like I said earlier in the show, I know for sure of some sexual activity that took place, not necessarily sex itself, but sexual activity. And yes, um, band number one was a hot ass mess. Thank God we grew up repented and we know better. I just want to know with y'all people having sex during the pastor's anniversary wasn't you supposed to be singing in the choir or something the bathroom was the first stop the bathroom was literally the getaway getaway that was the hit okay so i was totally wrong about the bathroom apparently the bathroom is not off limits they're hitting up the bathroom too well, damn, band number two was two. Oh, my God. Okay. It's amazing what you find out when you become an adult. Okay. Yeah. Y'all was just getting it in everywhere, huh? All righty. I got to smoke on this one, y'all, because y'all shocking the hell out of me. I thought I heard about some crazy stuff because I'm too, like, when I was a teenager, I was scary as hell. So I was too scary to be messing around in the church. As an adult, I'm super scary when it comes to God and things with God. So I was too scary to do anything in church. 
I played at different churches, so it went down. So all the church musicians that's watching, I want y'all to know, y'all is the people coming up with 90% of this stuff, and y'all are the biggest hoes. I started off the show saying the church musicians are the hoes, and here y'all go proving my point. Just what I said. Just what I said. The church musicians is the worst ones. They be sleeping with the choir members. Apparently, we got the drummer over here sleeping with the pastor's wife because the husband is 20 years older. You sure were scary. Oh, shut up. I would act like my stomach hurt. Look at one of the tenors, and then he would come follow me afterwards, and we would get it in. Sloppy toppy, period. I knew it was going to be somebody from the choir. I knew it. I said the choir director. I started off the show and said the choir director. It was one of the tenors. I was close. They been giving themselves away. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they have. Drac, I know you a church musician, too. I'm pretty sure you had your hoeing days, too, before you decided to settle down. And your cousins is on here watching. I seen him check in. Will, what happened to you? I know you probably was a church hoe, too, because you a musician and you sing. Auntie, what? What I do, nephew? We talking about church people with sex. You a church musician, you're probably a hoe too. The announcement clerk. So you was just getting it in with everybody all up and through the kingdom, huh? Just, just getting it in all, just moving all through the kingdom. Just getting it in, huh? At all these churches you play for. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let me just tell y'all, oh my God. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about church people and sex nephew because apparently y'all just out here randomly getting it in. Y'all giving signals to the choir members. Is y'all sleeping with the ushers? You know, the usher got to let you in and out so they can sneak right on out with you. Don't leave out the usher. See, yep. Yeah. Playing drums has its advantages. Okay, so yeah, apparently being a musician has its advantages and being a singer has its advantages because y'all can just sneak the hell off and go somewhere and do what you're doing. Like, I didn't know y'all was doing it like this, though. I didn't know y'all was like sneaking off to the offices and the bathrooms and the, whoo, the ushers were too old. They probably had their own thing going outside of the church, keeping 100. Mm-hmm. Lord, okay. So y'all sleeping around at the pastor's anniversary. Wait a minute. Hold on. The pastor's anniversary. I hope that wasn't with the pastor's wife. I hope that came from two different people. I need to go back and look at these messages because somebody said they did it at the pastor's anniversary. I hope it wasn't with the pastor's wife. Not at the church we know. Thank you. I appreciate you saying not at the church we know. Oh, Jesus. Amen. The youth ushers. Is you getting it in with the youth ushers? Y'all just don't have no limits, huh? Y'all just y'all just going all up and through the church. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, just me personally, I had a thing for musicians, right? Okay. I think I might still do. Musicians and singers. Musicians and singers. Okay. If you know who my baby daddies are, you know they both musicians and they both sing, okay? So obviously I got a thing. But I never wanted to do it in church with them. Like never, ever, ever, or to no church music. What is wrong with y'all? I used to be ashamed to tell people I play piano until I'm... Yes, the, the musicians, they... See, it's awkward when you're young, but when you get 18, 19, and you start telling people you play instruments, like, they be all on. Like, I told a bass player not too long ago, he said he felt some type of way because he was big, and he didn't think he was going to get a girlfriend. I said, all you got to do is tell her you play bass. That's it. Just tell her you play an instrument, and you will be all right. The sopranos and altos was fucking and touching on each other while the tenors was touching on each other. Oh, Lord, we was a backwards community choir. <laughs> I thought, hold on, hold on, oh, okay, 
Yeah, I thought the altos and the sopranos would be touching the titters and vice versa. You said they was touching on each other and the titters was touching on each other. That is the guts. Oh my God. Who? Who has sex to church music? Nephew. Apparently they have a sex while church is going on. Um, you need to scroll through the comments. We didn't have people having sex during offering and choir rehearsal in the balcony and in all these random places while church is going on and they doing it to the church music. This is disgusting. The woman's eyes light up like a Christmas tree. Who Lord in the alto. Oh my God. <sighs> the alto section used to be married to each other. Auntie. <laughs> Wait, okay. Now I'm putting this together. Okay. Who what about after altar call? Oh my god. And that's some toxic shit. Okay. So I didn't figure it this out from the top of the show to now. So the tenors is messing with each other, and the altos is messing with each other, and the sopranos is sleeping with the pastors and the musicians. This is what sounds like is going on. Oh, wait, the musicians are sleeping with the pastor's wives, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, we go. We gonna figure this one out, cause y'all just out here wilding. Y'all out here wilding in church, dog. I didn't know. And I just want to say, I talked about the tenors and the choir director, but yeah, we gonna talk about the whole choir, the whole choir sleeping with each other. Who? The pastor's wives be freaks. Stop this live before I get the name dropping. No, it ain't time for the show to be over. And we've already established that the pastor's wives is freaks because they out here having sex during offering. And in the church van. <sighs> oh, my God. All three sections. Oh, my God. Y'all have really, really made my night tonight with this show. Oh, my god i have found out that my viewers is some freaks see some of this stuff y'all told me during the last episode but y'all done told me a whole whole lot of new stuff tonight oh my god thank y'all for tuning in oh my god the show ain't over just quite yet let me just go ahead and oh my god okay so before the show is over, if you'd like to go live, the link is in the comments. You can also show your support by cash apping Danny Girl, D-M-E-G, and um, oh my God, y'all hilarious. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, I didn't click the wrong thing. If you would like to come up, become a sponsor for Couch Conversations, please give me a call or a text at 702-578-6716 um tune in oh let me show y'all this one and you can also reach divine management and entertainment group llc at email divine management at gmail.com also the website divine management at weebly.com um y'all still talking so i'm gonna keep talking too how about that all right so it say the pastor's wife is sleeping with the musicians yeah i didn't figure that out because we got the drummer that's beating the pastor wife down and the pastor wife paid tithes and offering to you. She was paying tithes and offerings to you. Let's talk about it. And the women only come once a fucking year and they be the ones, you know, the girl you be seeing on Resurrection Sunday. The pastor's wife made sure that I noticed her. You know it. She was taking it. Okay. The pastor's wife was giving you the churches. See, this is why the church's money be fucked up. This is why. The pastor paying the hoes, his wife paying the musicians. This, this is why they fucking up the church's money. I was always in a new suit and a new car. Oh, my God. And it was thanks to the pastor's wife. Is that the same one you was beating down? With the 20 um 20 the husband 20 years older 
and all them shenanigans is that the same one because now i really want to know inquiring ones i need to hear the whole story did y'all is y'all what y'all in the comments with this the pastor wife is giving him ties and offerings and new suits and new cars they fucking up the church's money <sighs> the same what this the same pastor wife that was getting hit during offering time y'all see She didn't got hit during offering, and they didn't bought the money back there. And she didn't gave it to the musician to go get him a suit for next Sunday. Y'all want to know why the church money fucked up? The pastor over here paying the choir members. Oh my God! Let's talk about these pastors. Some of them are bros. Women buying cars to keep hush. Half of the women in the congregation only tithes because he hitting. My dues was paid every rehearsal. Why you think so many musicians come in pastors now? I am in the wrong profession. So who gonna give me some? Listen, I need somebody to teach me how to play an instrument, please. Because I am obviously in the wrong profession. Okay, I'm out here trying to manage and 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 book musicians. I need to be a musician. Apparently, y'all getting all the money. I ain't getting paid enough. They've been fucking up the church's money for centuries. Well, now I see how. I see where it's going. I see. Oh my God. The choir director made us get nasty and went to jail. Okay, so the choir director that went to jail for touching on the tenors. Is that what happened? That's what that sound like. The bills is getting paid. Oh my god. Somebody, um, I got like five friends on here, a couple nephews and nieces watching. Um I need somebody to teach me how to play the piano or something. I need to learn. I need to learn a, a new trade. Go pastor. So skip being a musician and go straight to being a pastor, huh? I used to be friends with a dude that had to shut his shit down because he got caught up. The pastor got caught up. He had to shut the whole church down. No way. The female. The female pastors. That didn't even cross my mind. They probably hoes. Some of these choir directors go to jail for touching on the little girls too, but they pastors now as well. The choir directors is touching on the choir members, y'all, and going to jail. Now, this is just too much. Lord Jesus. Okay, so we're going we gonna to start a whole... Apparently, I need to get with the musicians, and I need to have a meeting about how me and my cousin going to go into a new profession, because apparently we in the wrong one. Because I'm still trying to get a new car, and I want a new wardrobe, and I'm doing something wrong, Okay. Y'all not paying me enough or something. I'm managing the wrong parts of your career. Maybe I need to stop managing you with the music and start managing you with these pastor's wives. Maybe I need to do that. Oh, my God. He a musician, too. Female pastors are the truth. I'm just saying. Yep, they are. Oh, my God. Call me and I got you. So apparently I'm gonna give me a lesson on how to get me some um new clothes and get my bills paid and get me a new car because I'm in the wrong profession. My podcast ain't ain't making no money like it needs to be or something. Cause and you gonna be on somebody live getting aired out, girl. I might because they airing it all out tonight. They is putting it out here. Oh Jesus, I was not ready. Okay. 
because y'all out here sleeping with people in all kind of places doing all kind of things just randomly out here with the pastor's wives and the choir members and the choir members is having threesomes and the choir directors is touching people going to jail there's been a lot to intake tonight okay Woo, Jesus. Okay, so I was trying to end my show, but y'all just kept going. And Lord, this been a lot to take in. Woo, huh, woo. Okay, so special thanks to everybody that supported this week with the calls, comments, views, shares, however you contact me from show to show. I appreciate it. Also, those of you that share the show, come in and watch. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Um make sure you tune in next week and we are going to be back oh my god i want to have another subject this is so interesting we'll be back next week um with a new subject and um if you're on this post i'm gonna make sure that i tag you to the post for next week to let you know ahead of time what the subject matter is gonna be i appreciate y'all for tuning in and you can meet me here that's a daddy girl live i so sorry you can meet me here every week um wednesdays 8 p.m right here couch conversations with danny girl oh my god y'all are the guts i appreciate y'all for tuning in i really really do this has been entertainment for the night i'm sure we will definitely have a part four to this because Apparently, y'all like telling all y'all sex business on my show, and I am here for it, okay? So, y'all stay tuned. I'll let you know what the subject matter is for next week. I appreciate y'all for telling me all y'all business about church people and sex and letting me know how these pastors and their wives is out here sleeping around and fucking up the church's money and how all the choir directors are sneaking off um, and they're sleeping with people in the balcony during offering and all the stuff that's going on in the choir i'm gonna be well aware when i go back to church if i go back to church of what's going on let's just have a conversation next week about church i just throw that in the air because i'd like to know some more about what be going on at church let's throw that in the air let's talk about church next week because y'all y'all seem to enjoy to telling me what's going on at the church house all right so we just going to throw that in the air and say, we're going to talk about church next week. So y'all bring five of y'all friends, especially if they go to church, and we're going to have a conversation about it, okay? Next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in with Daddy Girl Couch Conversations. Love y'all. Have a divine night. Peace.